I see him on a carry. It looks like they're saying, we'll answer your team fighting, we'll answer your scaling with something that does both. And this is such a tough matchup for the Orin. You really do not have much kill threat action is oh. difficult. Your laning phase is difficult. And the 5v5 is monstrous, honestly, on both sides. TSM, if they can utilize the Kindred ult really well with the Zillion ult, you can layer the Zillion bombs on top of that as that expires. There's a lot of things that look like they're in there. Around, but it's going to be too dangerous to yeah. try and get in. Yeah. Well, or is it? Uh, looks like TSM is not going to take this one lying down. It'll be a contest of smites here for the Mountain Drake. As Sazel is going to be going in, looking to knock these guys up into the air. Lambs respite immediately coming down. Acadian taken very low. Going to be Zillion ulted now as Broken well. Blade. Cloud9 looking to get themselves away. Broken Blade into the back lines, looking to make the damage happen onto Niski as Sneaky has to get himself away. TSM launching their counterattack. Licorice comes in over the wall. It's first blood over to Bjergsen. But now TSM has lost their AD carry. They're going to lose their support. They've lost their jungler. And Cloud9 will win the fight. It's two dead on both sides. A three for TSM. And it's Cloud9 left around the dragon. They've chased them up. As C9, with all the outer turrets already destroyed here, they have so much easier time collapsing on TSM. Will sleep hits. Acadian will be put to sleep here. Will the damage come in? Zazel looking to go in, but he won't be able to find the knockup. Instead, he could be in some trouble. Licorice coming around from behind. The Ornhorn Horn will find the mark, but Bjergsen's able to kill Zazel at the very start of the fight. Acadian's gonna be going to sleep here yet again. He will be taken down. Spin Scarin having a flash away. One for one. Niski on the front line having Here's a flash down. Here. Broken Blade from behind. The flank comes in, and Cloud9 is on the run. Licorice has to flash away, but Broken Blade is in hot pursuit. Oh! Niski grabs a kill on his Zven, and he'll get back out over the wall. And he went to go grab his flash. It uses that flash to escape with his life. There is a reason Cloud9 put so much priority on getting him. So Niski gets back over the wall, second part of his ultimate, has the paddle star, and then he's able to go in, finds that flash on the corner of the wall, gets back out. Woo! That's a tilter. Everyone able to jump that. in like that and hit the damage. <laughs> I had full health. I that feel check. like that is everyone's reaction to that kind of a situation. But the Zoe jumping in and getting that pick <laughs> is huge here. Bottom side, it's Licorice and Broken Blade getting into a 1v1, but it will not be a 1v1 here for long. Ultimate's going to be called in, but it cannot be called back. Acadian grabs the kill onto Licorice. It's going to be one for zero, TSM. Well, picks. And the first step in getting picks is controlling vision. And that is why they have these pinks in the area, but they're looking for Niski. Wow, Niski is going to be the target and shut down instantly by the side of TSM. Acadian grabs the kill credit on that one, and Licorice will be number two. TSM with two huge kills. They break this one wide open. TSM now with control of Summoner's establishing rip. vision control in that river. They have gotten the mid lane priority, and as such, can make these moves. But here comes Zazel. He's going to be starting things off. The Orn Horn is sounded and smooth. He's going to be taken down. Bjergsen on the run now. As Lambs or Spite will keep Acadian and Sven alive, but only for a moment. Sven has that ultimate on him from the Zillion. Likely going to be taken down next. Niski over the wall with the damage as Broken Blade tries to find anyone to apply his Vladimir DPS to. Instead, it's going to be Sneaky. These pizzas are hot and ready. And Broken Blade is taken down. Look at the scramble in this fight. It all starts there with Zazel pulling the trigger on Alistar. Side and the Alistar in front of him. It's also worth noting the support items that Zazel is going for. He's going for Righteous Glory. He's looking for Engage. It is not the Knight's Bow. It is not the Zeke, but he's going in well, now. There he goes. He's going to be starting things off. Goes into the ultimate now. Immediately going to be taken down. TSM turned that one around right quick. Sneaky now in some danger. Having to get himself away, but the Hemo Plate will claim his life. And just like that, TSM have control of Baron. They burned out Alistar through the ultimate and followed up with a critical kill on to Sneaky. can't find the engage, and it means TSM will take Baron. He's quite far ahead of the rest of the team, and it's only onto the Vladimir who is able to pull defense, that engage. Defense, defense. Baron up waves will be colliding with the tier two now. Licorice coming around down the lane, ready to go. And here comes Zazel in from behind, looking to start things off, but once again, it's too early. Zazel's taken down before the rest of the team can do anything, and TSM again enjoys a 5v4. In the bottom side, looking to buy some time, but TSM are doing a good job forcing Cloud9 to bounce back and forth. They will defend neither inhibitor, and TSM have secured themselves one hell of a lead. Land. So far, TSM avoiding them, and they're on the last inhibitor turret. TSM want to take down this inhibitor. If you lose this one, things are done.
dire for Cloud9. They're looking to go in right now. Sven's going to be in some trouble. Nearly taken down. Gets the Zillion ultimate now immediately. Acadian's going to be taken very low. Broken Blade in the back. It's shut down over onto Acadian. That's going to be the first one for the side of Cloud9. Sneaky's at 20% HP, but TSM loses the fight. This series continues to deliver. Cloud9 now fight off TSM, even with the big advantage. But that is still two inhibitors destroyed and one of them very Immediately, low. or they will have to go back to their base and seed both. Sven losing half his health there to a paddle star Look is going to be pretty home. important. Sven's trying to heal himself up Dragon on the blue buff. Elder Drake's going to be taken down, secured by the side of Cloud9. And TSM now have to second guess, taking some kind of a fight. Here they Big go. Blinkers looking to engage. Broken Blade in the back lines. Already going to be pulled up, already knocked up into the air, already going to be driven around, already taken down. Misky gets the kill credit on that one. Since Garen comes back to life, but he'll surely be the sacrificial lamb. Acadian will buy a moment, but he's also going to keep from Scaring alive. It's one for zero, Cloud9. But TSM will even it up with Bjergsen. Sneaky went back to base, he is healed, he's running out. TSM are trying to make a beeline for the Baron, and Sven Skarin died critically. Bjergsen finished him off. He cleared that wave, he has to get up there. TSM are gonna get it! Not happening, TSM says we know we have priority over this, and we will secure that bear for Cloud9. But then when TSM got ahead, they got really ahead. Broken Blade losing about half HP right there. Sneaky having to get himself back. Here comes the Ornhorn. Licorice not able to deliver on that one. Zazel coming in from behind. Acadian's going to be taken low, nearly taken down. Spin scare on the first death here of this fight. Zazel still looking at front line on this one. Broken Blade's able to find Hemo Plague on the two. Sneaky's going to be very low, barely getting himself out alive. Licorice is the next target. TSM, three for zero. Make it four. Misky stands alone. And TSM will stick the end of the game right now. Niski tries to fight, but five versus one is not good odds. It started rough. They made the reverse sweep happen, and TSM will earn their place in St. Louis. They had 10 straight finals going into last year, were not able to make it in 2018 and 2019, and are the first team to claim their place in the finals. What a well-fought series from both teams. Cloud9 slugging it out early, but TSM with the comeback. Reverse sweep here from the TSM members who had such a strong end to the spring split. Now heading to St. Louis with that ticket punched. And this is what I think all the fans wanted to see from this series, the level of competition. I should say. Of course, Cloud9 fans didn't want to see this outcome. The picture you guys were talking about, that this was a very exciting game five. It wasn't, you know, uh, completely in one team's favor from the get-go, and that spells the end of a close best-of-five series. You